Hello guys, my name is Arun and welcome to my channel. This series is a series of tutorials on LaTeX programming. Now, uh, in this tutorial, what we'll see uh, is that we'll see how to write uh, la tables in LaTeX. Okay. Now, to start, to so start with that, the command we need for writing tables is begin tabular. So, uh, the not the general notation of the, the general format of begin tabular goes like this: begin tabular and then end tabular and within these two commands you write all your rows one by one okay now the this option over here is very essential okay let me explain what 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 you have to write here uh, in between these two curly braces you just have to mention the align the you just have to mention two things i mean sorry three things technically first the number of columns you are you are going to write you are going to have in your table first Second, uh, the justification or the alignment of contents or text in those tables in each and every table. It's in each and every data table, data entry. Third, you have to mention whether the whether you need to have vertical lines to these contents or not. Okay, that's about that's that is how you have to do all that. That is how to, you have to do all that job. Okay, now with that, let's let's begin our let's start writing our table. Okay. Now I already have a table written at the bottom, so I'll just copy paste that, and I'll just uh, explain what's going on over here. Okay. Now, now let me explain this line. You begin the tabular command and the end tabular command. With, okay. And here, what I've written is that I just written a lot of contents over here. So let me remove all these five symbols. Uh, I'll explain what's going on. Okay. Um, okay. Now, what this actually means is that you will have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. You will have 9 columns in total. There are 9 alphabets written here and all these 9, alph these nine alphabets, so you, have, you will have 9 columns over here in the table. Okay, next. What does this mean? Uh, it means that uh, we are actually indicating to the compiler as to what are the... Uh, uh, alignments in the for the data in each and every column so the first one uh, first column has a notation R meaning all the contents in the first column will have will be aligned to the right they'll have right justification as their alignment the second column third column and the fourth column will have okay let me just zoom this up so that you guys will have a better look yeah perfect the second column third column and the fourth column will have uh, center ju center alignment center justification center wise center justification okay the fifth column will have left justification sixth will have right justification and the seventh eighth ninth columns will have uh, seventh eighth ninth columns will have uh, the center justification okay let now let me zoom zoom out okay that's about it Okay, so let's write write something. Let's just write. Let's just let's just write just one bit of command. Okay, now if I were to write this, okay, compile this. Just watch what's going on. You have a table like this, just with just with just one row. Okay, what do you do? What I'm what I've done here is that I've just written the data entries corresponding to each row. Sorry, each column of the first row, and to indicate that each of them are different. What I do is that you just use the AND symbol. For instance, uh, serial, uh, if I use serial number dot AND house, what will happen is that serial number will go to the first row, first column, house will go to the second column, and kingdom will go to the third column, and sigil will go to the fourth column, and uh, knight will go to the fifth column, and leader will go to the sixth column, like that, so on and so forth. You get the idea. Uh, when you use to differ, what you do is that you just use and symbol to differentiate between different dif uh, differentiate the different uh, the content uh, the contents of different different rows and columns. Okay, and uh, okay now this is fine. Suppose if I were to write a uh, next column, I mean next set of row entries. What I do is that I just write uh, two backslash symbols, go to the next line, and write the next line. Okay. Uh, I just let me just cut this up and there you have it now 
these are actually contents actually from the Game of Thrones series of HBO or uh, uh, if you guys are a bookie, book reader you might uh, the for, you can get this details from a song of ice and fire book series by George R R Martin George R R Martin I'm a Game of Thrones I'm a, a song of ice and fire series book fan so I use that as a table content but uh, uh you don't you don't necessarily have to know that to rule and uh, write the table but you just this is just for a uh, illustrative purposes so nothing much nothing much so if i were to run this run this now watch what will happen uh one will go to see, uh, column 1 st- this st- value star will go to the column 2 uh, this will go to column 3 this entry will go to column 4 like that and so on and so forth okay and you get the idea and if you zoom in okay and if you zoom in okay uh, yeah perfect if you zoom in the first column is center justified second column is uh, first column is left justified second column is uh, center justified third column is again center justified fourth column is again center justified fifth column is left justified sixth column sixth column is i guess it's uh, right justified whereas seventh eighth and ninth columns are a uh, center justified and uh, this is as per the notation uh, we used over here remember the say notation we used over here this is a this is just based on the notation we used over here okay the contents are based on this like that now now if i were to write another set of entries row entry uh, another set of entries for the column uh, what I do is that I just have to write two backslashes and then print the command like that now same as that simple enough now here's the question now this table looks fine you get the table like alignment everything so okay okay not a problem now I just need borders now how do I go about with the border now for that it's extremely simple what you have to do uh, if you want the vertical lines for your borders for your columns and everything just put the pipe symbol the symbol above your shift right shift and close to your enter key in your keyboard okay just type the pipe symbol like this now if i run this save this check it out what happened check it out uh the le- left part of your right column the first column is has a vertical line now if i do this if i write another pipe symbol after r your first column has uh, vertical bo- vertical borders on the left as well as the right similarly similarly if i were to write all the write the vertical lines in, uh, throughout okay if i run this all the table entries will have all the table entries will have v- vertical vertical lines vertical borders okay that's about that's about this part okay and suppose if you want some entries to have two level two borders let's say check this out there you have it is if you can zoom in properly see you have two borders over here simple enough so similar way if you want uh, like that if you want to go with multiple borders or something of that sort you can you know what to do now now next thing Let's say if I want horizontal borders, what I need is that I just need this command called as hedge So if I write hedge line, okay, this hedge line is on top of row one. So if, if you look at it, you'll have you'll have a line on the top. Similarly, if you want a separation between row one and column row one and row two, just type at the, after the ba- uh, line break, just type backslash hedge uh, line. If you run this. There you have it. You have another line. Similarly, hedge line over here. You will have another line. Okay, and then go to a break and have a line break, and then type uh, hedge line. Run this, and you have another table ready. You have you have a full fledged table ready. Similarly, suppose you want uh, two lines, two lines, uh, two borders for your table simple as that now simple as that now if I were to zoom in up you can see you have two borders over here 
uh, that's like a simple simplistic explanation of how to do tables and everything okay now let's go with uh, another table uh, a little more of a simpler table for now okay let me copy all this content cut all this content uh, and me let me paste it over here sorry uh, let me cut this content up okay let me paste it over here i'll explain what's going on now if i run this table uh, let me cut this out because i don't need this for now okay if you run this if you run this you'll have a very short table over here same as this and it's nothing now it's just uh, uh, it, this table has only four rows sorry four columns and uh, three rows and uh, nothing much okay now suppose if i were to uh, write a content such that it spans multiple rows multiple rows sorry multiple columns let's say then you need this command called as multi column so what you can do is that uh, cut this statement okay i'll explain what happens okay now what you have to do is that you just have to uh, write a content write the write the contents as to all the normal cells as it is okay and from in the place where you have to expand the cells or uh, uh, write multiple multiple or in just a single entry to that spans multiple columns okay you write this multi -co multi column option and this multi column option has three arguments first argument says that how many cells along the columns do you want to merge in a row okay so if i so if i say two then two cells along the two the cells of two columns will be merged along the row okay and then this option second option is uh, it tells you the justification or the formatting that you have to write now c indicates that the contents of this cell will be center justified and this option over here this pipeline pipe symbol indicates that you will have uh, a pipe symbol at the end at to the right and then this is where you write the actual contents the content that will be spanning to the common uh, to the cells common in the row okay now if you run this okay quick build if you run this check this out let me zoom this up uh let me zoom this up yeah perfect now if you see this not applicable uh, spans uh, both column 3 and column 4 there are two columns column 3 and column 4 and why column 3 and column 4 is because if you look at if you look over here the first column has the data 3 the second column has the data black fire okay and the third and fourth uh, for the third uh, for the third and fourth column data i have nothing i just have only one so if i use two if i use multi column 2 over here this will span the the, the data the data will span to column 3 and column 4 okay that's about it and that's why you have my not applicable return to both the columns okay now let me zoom zoom out okay suppose if i were to span this data such that uh, it it span if i were to have a data that spans column wise okay you want to have data that is common to multiple rows or merge cells in the column wise okay there is an option for that okay this is possible and this is very simple what you have to do is just uh, give empty cells like this okay i'll explain what's going on now uh, this cell uh, appears common fine now here what i've done is what i've done is that what i've done is that i just wrote an empty cell now if i just put a space and then an and it just indicates that there's no entry in that cell so as a consequence uh, as a consequence as a consequence there is no entry in this cell over here below 4 whereas because there is no value over here after this line break and similarly below this line targaryen okay there is no there is no content over here and if you look at over here there is no content over here okay similarly uh, similarly in third column we have a content called as crown lands and that is printed in below valeria because valeria is actually in third column 
okay and for dragon below dragon the, uh, we just uh, after this and there's nothing written over here and then we have a line break so we're indicating that the table is over so this 